Lord be with you. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. We respond, Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are raised with him to new life. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you created us in your image and planted us in a well-watered garden. In the desert, you promised pools of water for the parched, and you gave us water from the rock. And when we did not know the way, you sent the good shepherd to lead us to still waters. At the cross, you watered us from Jesus' wounded side. And on this day, you shower us again with the water of life. We praise you for your salvation through water, for the waters of our baptism, and for all water everywhere. Bathe us in your forgiveness and grace and love. Satisfy the thirsty and give us the life only you can give. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. People of God, hear the good news. God is with us. So together we say, Alleluia. Alleluia. God empowers us, and so together we shout, Alleluia. Alleluia. In Jesus Christ, God raises us from death to life. And so we together sing, Alleluia. We sing a song that only has the word, Alleluia. We smile and sing, Hallelujah. And the songs we sing with alleluias, alleluia, we sing. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The peace of our risen Lord and Savior be with you all. Take a moment. If you have folks around you, share the peace together now. Uh, if you are listening to this uh, by yourself, I do this sometimes. It just feels good. Give yourself a hug. God's peace. Amen. And as we listen to God's word today, we begin with a psalm, Psalm 16. I invite you to sing, or to listen, or to hum. Our refrain today is, in your presence there is fullness of joy. Listen. In your presence there is fullness of joy. We sing together. In your presence. In your presence there is fullness of joy. As 
I recite the psalm, I invite you to sing. In your presence there is fullness of joy. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said you are the Lord, my good above all other. In your presence there is fullness of joy. All my delight is in the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. In your presence there is fullness of joy. But those who run after other gods, their troubles are multiplied. I will not pour out offerings to such gods. In your presence there is full. O oh Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you, Lord, who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a rich inheritance. In your presence there is fullness of joy. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because God is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. In your presence there is fullness of joy. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body shall also rest in hope. You will not abandon me to the pit, nor let your Holy One see the grave. In your presence there is fullness of joy. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. In your presence there is fullness of joy. For you are the Lord of the dance. A reading from Acts. Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah. This Jesus, whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter, and to the other apostles, brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and that you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone, whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments 
and exhorted them saying, save yourselves from this corrupt generation so that those who welcomed his message were baptized. And that day, about 3,000 persons were added. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We hear Peter today reminding us with certainty. God has made Jesus both Lord and Messiah, fully human and fully divine. The Jesus who we just experienced in crucifixion on Good Friday is the same resurrected Jesus Peter is talking about today. This passage is from the significant and dramatic day of Pentecost. Pentecost is a big day in the church where we celebrate and retell the story of the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and other followers. It was a time of great wind and tongues of fire that landed upon each person and speaking of different languages, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Peter is addressing the followers of Jesus when the Holy Spirit shows up in a visible way. So why are we reading this portion of Pentecost on this second Sunday after Easter? It's because of what we just experienced in Holy Week with the culmination of Easter Sunday. It's resurrection. It's because God fulfills the prophecy of the one who is to come, the Savior, the Messiah, through Jesus, God's Son. And God's love for all of creation is reflected in the life and death of Jesus Christ. We've been given the gift of the Holy Spirit, and it calls us to care for one another, to do what we can every day in our daily work and interactions. It moves us. We are invited to experience this depth of love when Christ meets us in the waters of baptism and we receive the gift of the Spirit. We are joined together with all the saints of the past and the present and the future when in the name of Jesus Christ is spoken over us. Invoking the name of Jesus Christ is powerful stuff. Just as powerful as what happened on the day of Pentecost and on Easter Sunday. And just like the followers who turned to Peter, we say, now what should we do? What are we going to do today? It's a question many of us ask ourselves as we drag our bodies out of bed to begin our day in this strange new reality. And these days, this question can be formidable. Like what am I going to do today? This can be a physical, emotional, financial, or spiritual response. I cannot imagine how our working from home parents who have energetic little ones are answering this question or the person who lives by themselves, the essential personnel and hourly workers who have to decide to stay or go. I wonder what this day will bring. What will I do? I have to tell you, focusing is a struggle for me. Routine is a struggle. Motivation is a big struggle. When I first read this scripture, I couldn't help but recall the animated television series by Steven Spielberg with the voice of Pinky asking, gee, Brain, what are we going to do tonight? And Brain replying, the same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. I'm in a rut. The same thing I do every night is not working. And I want to turn to Peter and say, Easter is over. Now what do I do? Instead, I turn to my gizmos and gadgets 
and watch nonstop TikTok videos, repeat episodes of The Office, and playing games on my phone. These are my distractions to help lift my mood, to comfort me, to lull my anxiety, and yet it's not working. I completely ignore Peter's words, repent and be baptized. I am comforted that even the followers are at a loss to know what to do next. And they just had Jesus with them not that long ago. Peter's invitation is not just for those who weren't baptized, but it echoes down through time to the church to remind those who are baptized to not be afraid, for Christ is with us to the end of the age. You do not need to seek comfort in distractions, but seek comfort in Christ Jesus. God has freed us to respond and to care for our neighbors. People are heeding this call in various forms, from bringing food to support food pantries, sewing face, ma sewing face masks, sending cards to shut-ins, and reaching out to provide a word of love simply by picking up the phone and making a call to check in. Some are responding to the call to help our neighbors, like Charlotte Deer, Dottie's daughter, and a former preschool parent who left her home to take her nursing skills to New York City to help provide support to the medical staff up there. She will be gone for three weeks and then two weeks in quarantine. I texted Charlotte this morning and she said there are thousands responding to this call. We pray for her and we pray for her family as well as many others who are answering the question, what are we going to do? This is what counts, faith working through love. We are freed from fear and death in our baptism to love, to simply love. We love in response to what God has given us in the gift of God's grace in Jesus Christ. We are human beings, not doings. In love, we live out God's perfection in creation and become stewards of one another and of all living things. Easter is not over. While we are a dispersed community and our various forms of isolation, there's a renewed feeling, craving of community with distance actually drawing us together. Friends and neighbors are once again enjoying the subtle changes of one season moving into another that were overlooked before. Comforted by the Holy Spirit, I'm able to see that I do not need to rely on distractions. Oh, I am sure that I will fall back into old habits, but it's okay because we are forgiven and loved by a God who lets us try again, even when we fail. You can trust in the Christ whose resurrection we just celebrated on Easter. The one who promises us new birth to forgive our sin and to raise us to eternal life. It is done. I encourage you to take some time today to stick your hand in water and remember the new life we have been given in the waters of baptism. God who is rich in mercy and love, gives us new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By the baptism of his death and resurrection, God's son, Jesus, carried us to safety and freedom. Even if you are in a place where you are overwhelmed or swallowed up, hear me say, Christ is there with you. Christ has gone there, and we are free from the power of sin and death. Claimed as siblings of Christ, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works and glorify God. 
We have Christ's light within us. Let it shine for all to see in all we do and say. Amen. We'd like to sing a song with you and for you. This is a song that Christopher just learned about a half hour ago. <laughs> A lot of it will be a solo that I will sing, but there's a lot of repetition in this song. And my keyboard has just stopped. So that happens sometimes. <laughs> We're gonna try to sing it without a keyboard. How about that? We'll see what happens. Let's see if we can do that. So I'm gonna sing this song for you. The repetition says, live as a light, live as a light in Christ. Live as a light, live as a light in Christ. We'll see what happens. <laughs> called out, called out, called out, called out of the night to live as a light, live as a light in Christ, live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. To live as a light, a people of witness, forgiven and restored. To live as a light, a people of promise in Christ. We can afford to live as a light, a people of service. Each morning we're set free to live as a people of light. Set free to live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Free to live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Oh, live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Call out of darkness into the light of day. Call to walk as children of the light. Healed by the Savior who cast our guilt away. Cast away the darkness of the night. Sent as a witness for all the world to see. To see the light of Christ arising here. Led by the Spirit to set the captives free. Free to be a people who have seen the light arising and can walk into the darkness without fear. To live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light. In Christ, live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light in Christ. Live as a light. Live as a light. Christ lives the light. <laughs> Amen. Thank you for that bit of light. Oh, my. Join with me now with the church throughout the ages. We proclaim together our living faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Uplifted by the promise of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. After each set of petitions, we will sing together, O Lord, hear my prayer. For the sick and infected, God, heal and help. Sustain bodies and spirits. Contain the spread of infection. For our vulnerable populations, God, protect our elderly and those suffering from chronic disease. Provide for the poor and the homeless, especially the uninsured today. For the young and the strong, God, give them the necessary, ne necessary caution to keep them from unwittingly spreading this disease. Inspire them to help. We sing together. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. For our local, state, and federal governments, God shower wisdom on our elected officials as they allocate resources for combating the pandemic. For our scientific community, leading the charge to understand the disease, God give them knowledge, wisdom, and a persuasive voice. For the media, committed to providing up-to-date information. God, help them to communicate with truthfulness. Lord, hear my prayer. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. For workers in a variety of industries facing layoffs and financial hardship, God keep them from panic and inspire us all to generous, generously support them. For families with young children at home, help mothers and fathers to partner together creatively for the care and flourishing of children. For single mothers and fathers grow their networks of support. For parents who cannot stay home from work, but must find care for their children, God, present them with creative solutions. hear my prayer. Lord, hear my prayer. in need of regular therapies and treatments, 
that must now be postponed, God help them to stay patient and positive. For business leaders making difficult decisions that affect the lives of their employees, God give the women and men wisdom and help them to lead self-sacrificially. For high school, college, and university students whose courses of study are changing, whose placements are canceled, whose graduation is uncertain, God, show them what, that while life is uncertain, our trust is in you. For those in every neighborhood, community, and city, those on our hearts and minds, whom we name aloud, or in the silence of our hearts, as Christopher plays, Hear my prayer. Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Before uh, David and Christopher send us out uh, with this great song, you're going to love it. I know you will. Um, I just wanted to thank you for being with us. Uh, on this day and worshiping with us. Um, it's an important time for us to reach out in any way we can to one another and share a, a little bit of love and just check in with people. I also just want to say thank you on behalf of Redeemer Lutheran Church and the things that we do and mean in our neighborhood. Um, Thank you for your food pantry donations. We're receiving those on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and I wanna thank you for your continued financial support. It means a lot. And so I thank you for all of that. And uh, you know, we're gonna sing a song here about uh, this little light of mine, okay? And uh, I'm going to ask Christopher and David, I hope his, all of his keys are working. And we're going to uh, we're, we're gonna sing our way out of here. I'll be back for the benediction shortly. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. That's right. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let's sing that again now. This little light, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Gave it 
to me. Jesus gave it to me. I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me. I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. One last time. This little light. This little light. That's right. I'm gonna let it shine. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we go now into the world to share God's love. And we all say, thanks be to God. Take care, everybody. Let your light shine. <laughs>